The other day, I cracked open my first tin of a blend called Haunted Bookshop, something I had never tried before, but I'd heard a lot about it, and so I thought I'd give it a shot. Haunted Bookshop has a lot of fans, including the late John Harden, who is known to the YouTube pipe community as Matches860. It also has its fair share of haters, which is really interesting to me because, you know, what's a tobacco story without controversy? Anyway, the blend is named after a short novella by Christopher Morley called The Haunted Bookshop. So, you know, the first thing I did, of course, was to start reading the book. And sad spoiler, it's not really about ghosts or ghouls or goblins or anything of the sort. It's actually like a wartime thriller. It's a detective story set mostly inside a bookstore. And while you might be thinking, well, what kind of action could take place in a bookstore? It's got spies and bombs and kidnaps and rescues. Torture, revenge, giants, monsters, chases, escapes. So in a lot of ways, the book and the blend do really connect. And that's what I'm gonna talk about in this review of Haunted Bookshop. Hi everybody, I'm David Dorian Ross, founder of the Virtual Pipe Club, and this is the Virtual Pipe Club on YouTube. Now on this channel, we do pipe tobacco reviews, tips on how to get more pleasure out of your pipe smoking experience, and of course, the live streams and the recordings of the live streams of our weekly Virtual Pipe Club meeting. And if any of that sounds like it could be interesting to you, then I invite you to hit the subscribe button. And of course, also the bell icon, because that's how you know every time I publish something new on this channel. On second thought, before you hit the subscribe button, I want to make a disclaimer. You should really know that I am in no way an expert on pipes or pipe tobacco. I'm sort of an accidental reviewer. I just really like the hobby of pipe smoking. I think it's endlessly fascinating. I keep learning new things and I like making videos. So if that's okay with you, then hit the subscribe button. As usual, not as always, but as usual, when I review a new tobacco, the first thing I want to do is, is smell the tobacco in the tin, what we call the tin note. I always, oh, that's really nice. Haunted Bookshop is a blend of Virginias and Burleys with supposedly just a touch of Perique. I think maybe the Perique is what makes the division between lovers and haters of this. Some people just really don't like the pepper and spice that the Perique brings in. But some people do. I, I kind of like it. And I love the way that Perique smells. So on first whiff of the tin note, I get a lot of that Perique kind of fruitiness. It's a, it's a, it's a medium dark brownish purplish kind of smell. You know, I describe smells in color, but um, like plums or I'll tell you what it's like. It's like figs, figs and raisins. That's really it's really what you get out of there. Now, I, I really always encourage people to fill up their noses with the tin note before you light up a pipe, because sometimes that tin note adds in, it preps your, it preps, it, prep, it prepares. It gets your nose ready, gets your taste buds ready for what the smoke is gonna taste like. On the other hand, there are times when the tin note is nothing at all like what it tastes like. And, to be quite honest with you, this tin note is nothing at all like what the Haunted Bookshop tastes like when you when you smoke it. Here's the thing about the Haunted Bookshop. The bookshop isn't really populated by the ghosts of dead poets. It's, it's haunted by their ideas, by their stories and philosophies and even their recipes. The spell that works its magic on you when you enter into the bookshop is the ignition, the igniting of your imagination. You might say that when you light up a bowl full of a great blend of tobacco, it ignites your senses and imagination in the same way. Tasting Haunted Bookshop releases a flavor that's like a fleeting image out of the corner of your eye that disappears when you turn to look directly at it. This is what smoking premium tobacco is like. You see, pipe tobacco doesn't taste exactly like berries or cream or leather. The smoke rolls across your tongue and conjures a, a dim 
shade of a shadow of a memory. Once upon a time, I tasted or smelled something, and it reminds me of that. If, if, if only I can remember what that was. A lot of leather inside a haunted bookshop, but it doesn't taste exactly like chewing on a shoe. It reminded me of the day that I bought my first baseball glove, and I spent the whole night conditioning it and breaking it in. And with every crack and turn of the glove, the smell of fresh leather just sort of leaped into my nose and became an indelible part of my memory. And when I smell that kind of smell, it reminds me of that. So the first puff of Haunted Bookshop snaps open your palate. It's like an alarm clock just went off inside your mouth, wakes it up, and there's this beautiful taste sensation that comes in. So unlike some pipe tobaccos, which sort of build and, and you're not quite sure if you, if you really taste anything, if you're just getting mouth feel or warmth or spice or something, there's, there's a definite flavor there. It's just that you can't quite put your finger on it. Now, here's where maybe there's a little bit more controversy. There are some people who have written about Haunted Bookshop who have said it's way too much of a nicotine hit, that the flavor is much more on the strong than the medium side, and that the Perique just gives it too much pepper. I personally didn't find any of that to be true. Well, I guess there is some pepper, there's some spice, there's some perique in there that I could taste, but it wasn't over much. It wasn't, wasn't over the top. As you get a little bit deeper into the bowl, the flavors and mouthfeel begin to develop and mature. There is still that leathery kind of aroma and taste, but what really emerges is a sense of earthiness, an earthy kind of taste. Earthy, like, like beets, but not astringent or bourbon is earthy, but not boozy in this tobacco. I guess for me, the closest that I could come to was maybe like oolong tea, dark, earthy, but you know, like pleasant as well. And then towards the bottom third of the bowl, you know, you put the pipe down, you give your mouth a rest a little bit, and the end note appears in your mouth, the sort of the aftertaste. And here's where I got kind of a surprise. You know, I guess, I should say that during the middle part of the bowl, when you're beginning to get this earthy kind of flavor, that's when the spice of the perique starts to emerge. If, whether for you it's a little bit like it was for me or whether it's a lot, you know, you're gonna get it in there. Then you put the pipe down, you get the end taste, you get the aftertaste, and you know what? It's sweet, not peppery. It's creamy, not spicy. It reminded me of scones. Like, okay, here I was in, in my haunted bookshop, sitting, reading a book, drinking a cup of tea, and eating a plate of home-cooked scones. You know, I found it to be a really pleasant smoke, a really mellow kind of smoke for me. Something that I think it could definitely be your all-day smoke, all-day tobacco. Or maybe I should say it could be your all-night tobacco while you're smoking deep in an alcove in a haunted bookshop, reading a book about spies and bombs and books. Well, there you have it, that's my review. As I always say at this point in time, how'd I do, guys? I would love to hear your thoughts and feedback. You know, it doesn't matter to me whether you liked it or you hated it. I always learn from it, so please pile it on these big wide shoulders and let me know what you think. And now, a shameless plug for the Virtual Pipe Club. <laughs> the Virtual Pipe Club is a group of men and women from literally all over the world. We meet every week on a Saturday to sit in convivial conversation about the hobby that we love, pipes and pipe tobacco. We listen to guest speakers who are carvers and blenders and entrepreneurs and radio hosts. We've had all kinds of great guests and, and it costs nothing to be a member or be a part of this. It's like not even really a membership here. You just show up, just join in the conversation and enjoy the company. If you want some more information, however, you could go over to the Facebook page, the Virtual Pipe Club, where you can sign in and become a member of the page, and that way you'll get some notifications about some of the upcoming events. In any case, I hope to see you in the club someday soon. So for now, my friends, be safe, wash your hands, light up a bowl, and have a great night. I got it, I got it, the taste, Brazil nuts. Maybe you think I'm nuts, but I think it's the burly in there. It has that nutty flavor. Brazil nuts. Try it out. Tell me what you think. <laughs>